Yo, yo, Triple Trouble here in Lisbon, kicking off another travel music video session. That's what I've decided to call them now, travel music videos, because I am traveling. If you know, we're on our way to Tokyo. There is music, music that I make in GarageBand, because that's all I have on my laptop, but music nonetheless and videos because I shoot video. So there's your triple trouble right there. Travel, music, video. Triple trouble, y'all. Happy if you're checking me out. What I've been doing this last five months, if you can believe it, June 15th, we took off from California. I've been traveling on our way to Japan. Still on our way to Japan. They've opened up a bit for business travel, but that's not me. What we've been doing, I've been doing, is each place we land, I try to shoot something unique, make a song, and then put together a video to help explain the place that I'm at, capture the view, capture the memories, capture the idea uh, of our travel so that, you know, when I get old, I can remember it. But so that's the format. This all started back in February when I joined Twitch. Uh, and uh, then I was doing DJ from our house in San Mateo. Uh, this would have been live video background, not the void you see today, but video in the background, mixing video, mixing audio, doing shows like 45 Roulette, where I'd spin a dial and then pick randomly, well, depending on the number the roulette came up with, picking that number record from my collection and playing that for you guys. I miss my records. I've been really good this trip. I haven't actually gone into one record store in the past five months, believe it or not, uh, because I can't carry any more stuff, too much stuff. So we're here in Lisbon. Great internet connection, gotta love that. It's the, uh, it's the bandwidth that's making this all possible. When we were in Marseille, I couldn't broadcast. Now we're in Lisbon and I have five videos to show. So the format of this on Twitch is that I do a little chat, keep you guys up to date, show you some videos, and then I'll post them live to YouTube. And that's where you can watch them at your leisure. But I'll be playing them here and now. Again, original audio, original video. Just trying to keep the hands busy, trying to keep the skills up, if you will, um, as we travel this crazy globe. So last time we were in Lisbon was 2019. We came here after going to Ireland for my son's 18th birthday, where we had a pint of Guinness, of course, because his birthday is St. Patrick's Day. So we really loved Lisbon. We kind of thought, wow, is this a place we could actually live? I mean, they've got a Golden Gate Bridge. They've got trolleys. They've got the bay. Got great art, great food. 
But the last time I was here, we uh, did the very tourist type things, and I shot a lot of video that was featuring a lot of landmarks and, and places that you would normally go. This time around, I wanted to do a bit more um, unique view because it is such an artistic and inspiring place. Both me and my love, hi Akisho, um, really got into kind of the vibe here. It reminds me a lot of San Francisco. We're staying now in the old town, downtown. Um, I would liken it to maybe North Beach. It's got the tourist vibe, but it's, um, it's right near the water. Super cool places to visit. And we've been here for about three weeks now. We've got one more week to go. Um, I think that I could live here. I don't know that I would live here, here, like downtown town, because it's a bit busy and bustling. Um, but I do believe that, that Portugal's got kind of the right vibe. I see straight up Kai there. That is good to see you, son. Thanks for hitting into the other room while I broadcast. And Blair, oh, over here. Hi, good to see you. I wish I had more cars to show you, Blair. Hopefully when we get to Dubai, I'll have uh, some more vehicles. I can show you some hot rods and shit and stuff. So anyway, this is three weeks in to Lisbon. Been very chill about it. Been riding bikes. They have an amazing bike rental system here. It's about two euros, $2.20 a day to rent a bike and the first 45 minutes are free. And then after that, every 45 minutes is another two euros. And I mean, if you can believe it, free. They're trying to promote people on bikes. I can only imagine if this was America. Sorry, I'm talking down in America, yeah. If this was America, it'd be $5 for the first 45 minutes and then $5 every 45 minutes afterwards. Here's free. So we've been getting on bikes, riding west, north, and east, and just seriously loving it. Good bike lanes, a lot of tourists, but you know, beyond that, it's, uh, it's been wonderful. It's definitely fall now. You'll notice I have clothes on. I noticed my new Volcom purchase. Found Volcom, found Carhartt, found Adidas here getting clothes to keep us through the, uh, the fall weather. So what do you do when you get to a new town? That's what I asked myself when we got to Lisbon. I'd already shot the trolleys, we'd gone and done, you know, the water, all of the kind of landmarky things. But the answer to that question is, you throw the drone. So the first thing we did was threw the drone up in Lisbon and checked out this 11th century castle. Hor, Horgi, Horgi, Horgi? I don't know Portuguese. But it's up on the hill near our house and it's the Airbnb. Uh, and it's really great to actually get out and get a view of the city that we're now staying in. So first video, castle, check it out. <laughs> Gotta be true. Gotta be true. Thank you. 
All right, so that is Lisbon first view from the castle. I want to say welcome, Fruprenero. Welcome to the channel. We're just doing travel videos here. Well, my records are in storage. The update on that is it sounds like the boat will get loaded in four days. Should be there by December 21st. Hopefully my visa comes through and I can meet my records on the other side. Set up the studio on that side and do a little wiki wiki because I'm much more comfortable behind the decks than in front of the camera, as you can probably tell. But in the meantime, just gonna work it out, capture some videos. Fruponero, hot damn, thank you for following. Now I really gotta do some music, eh? All right, so what else we got here? Uh, visa update. No news is good news. That's what the lawyers told us. Um, I haven't committed any felonies. Uh, I'm not wanted by the FBI. And I wasn't there on January 6th, so I should be good. Shouldn't be anything keeping me away from Japan. Um, and if you know anybody who's in the government in Japan, just put in a good word for me. You know, I could, uh, I could, uh, I could use it. And yo, thank you for following for sure. Now I gotta turn out the videos. Okay. Second video, yo, because that's what we're doing here. We're showing travel videos, travel music videos. I think I coined that phrase, right? Uh, Cascais. Damn, Portuguese is hard. C-A-S-C-A-I-S, -S -A -A Cascais, is a town that's about 40 minutes by train to the west of here. This is actually a beach town. It's crazy because Lisbon's on the water, but there's no beaches nearby. It's all port, cruise ships, docks. It's nutty, but there's no beach. And if you know me, I'm from Santa Cruz, I love the beach. So what we did was got on a train and headed that way. Um, this is another track I did in GarageBand. This one I'm kind of stoked on. Turned out all right. Yo, let's check it out.
video, yeah. <clears throat> so that was Cascais. Am I saying it right? I don't know. Yo, Nick Cosmatis, good looking out. Good to see you, man. That last track was some Afro funk loops that I put together. I mean, there's nothing like a tenor sax. I have to say it too, man. I can't help but think about all the videos and the years we worked together on videos, man. When I wasn't behind the camera, and now that I'm doing that, shit's work. So, trying to keep those skills alive, trying to keep creative, and uh, yeah. Thank you for checking it out. Wee Beastie, glad you're here too. This is the travel video on the way to Tokyo. So far away. But we got one more week in Lisbon. This is my broadcast from here. We've got five videos. We're too deep. Next week, we're going to Dubai, uh, the Dubai Expo. That's um, something that my wife had been working on for a couple years for UAE's exhibit. So we get to go check that out. And Dubai is just fucking Dubai. Like, yeah, Dubai. Everything's bigger. You think Texas is big? Dubai's got it bigger. So it's going to be fun shooting video there. I've got a few new filters starting to really try to work on the filmic quality of my videos. Um, and I'm hoping that Dubai is the perfect backdrop to do something a bit more artsy. I don't know. I keep saying that, but uh, I keep doing what I do. Speaking of what I do, I've been sending postcards from me to you. It's an old school thing, right? Started during pandemic when I was locked at home and I had a bunch of extra postcards that I'd collected. I felt like it'd be really funny to send postcards from Mexico to my grandma, even though I wasn't in Mexico. Kind of confuse her a bit, but you know, really it just means I'm thinking about you. Right? So we've been going postcard mad here, buying stamps, getting hand cramps, using a pen. For those of you who are like Gen Z, this is a pen. You, you take the top off and then you write with it. And then even I get all cramped up. My God, I haven't written in forever. So here's the story. I sent this postcard to my mom from Paris. See, to mom, to mom. She's in charge of my domestic mail and had just sent back a package of mail and she included the postcard back to me. I don't know if I'm being rejected by postcard return mail or what, but she should know. This isn't how postcards work. I send a message to you and I write whatever I want, like this is what I wrote. Maybe it's what I wrote. Mum, I call her mum. Mum, greetings from Paris. Having fun. Don't forget how yummy crepes are. We won't. Love ya, Troy. And she sent that back to me. But you're not supposed to send the postcard back. This is my one-way communique, and you just gotta take it. It's funny because some people will take a photo and send a thank you. Some people will post it. Some people don't say shit. They just get their postcard and I don't know, or they don't get their postcard, right? Because there's no return address. I don't know. It's like sending out vibes to the universe and just seeing what hits. Yeah, we see no return to sender. There is, there is probably a postcard pile in every post office that just has nowhere to go. Okay, so if you're a fan of this channel, and I hope you are, you'll know we like getting on boats. Something about seeing the land from the ocean that just puts it all in perspective. It's also really great footage. So my wife booked us on a sail cruise, a sunset sail. God, I love alliteration. Sunset sail. Sun. Set. Sail. And... It was to include one glass of port wine, which really helped because the captain was a bit crazy. He started 
discussing his travels on the sea as any seaman would, no joke, and then started to ask people about whether they thought the earth was flat or round. And luckily, luckily for us, we had two flat earthers on our cruise. So while the captain discussed how the earth was round and the flat earthers said, but prove it to me, I got an opportunity to shoot a lot of footage. So check out the Sunset Sail, another track by Triple Trouble, y'all. So sunset sail, like what's not to like, right? Um, yeah, so Portugal is definitely, as I'd mentioned before, a very fucking vibe place. I kind of dig it here. We're, we're a bit in the old town. It's a bit too lively where we're at, but I could see existing upon the fringes. One of the things that I realized about myself here is I'm a hash magnet. Yeah. Walking through the center of town, you may know Portugal about 10 years ago decriminalized drugs. Fucking brave and wonderful move. Doesn't mean they made them legal. It's still illegal to sell. But they are against criminalization, incarceration, and more for treatment. And you know, I've been to San Francisco recently and Portugal doesn't have junkies hanging out on the street shooting up. So there might be something there, but I don't know what it is. Is it the hat? Is it the shorts? Walking through the center square, there's always somebody who will like do a quick turn and just like throws a Kit Kat at me. And I'm like, I don't eat candy. Like, yeah, it's a hash bar, but somehow I have become a hash magnet. And yes, I'm not smoking at the moment, so. I've been coming up with creative responses. Like, that looks like shit. Merde. French joke. 
Okay, so much for a hash magnet. That's why I don't go out at night. Stay in, get things done, like video and music. Right, so we got through three out of five videos. I got two more, two really more interesting-ish ones. So they get better with time, just like me. All right, this next one is again, original audio. I kind of wish I could remember what the tracks were, but I'm not listening to them live. They're, they're all fucking amazing. That's all I know. Oh no, this one. Oh, okay, so this one. This one is not loops. Uh, if you know GarageBand, you can get loops. You can get um, snippets of songs. You can cut them, edit them, tweak them, and make a composition that's unique in your own, and they're totally copyright free. But this one I fucking hammered out on the keyboard myself. It's a bit rudimentary, but this is my shit. I actually keyed it in myself. Only the topper, the symbol topper, is something that was a pre-existing sample. Everything else I made myself. Very proud of it. Um, this is the Bellum Tower. This is a medieval fortified tower that's right on the river. Um, it's pretty dope. It's closed, so, you know, when something's closed, what do you do? You know the answer. You throw the drone.
Yeah, yeah. So another sunset show. I think that Portugal's 90% vaccinated at the moment. So things aren't normal, as they say, but walking around, things open, definitely masked inside. Crazy crowd for that sunset there. Getting it um, on Instagram, as you will. And yeah, we beastie, I'm sure that all the offers will stop when I'm in Japan. And as you know, I'm petitioning for my visa, so drugs are very bad, and I wouldn't recommend anybody ever, ever, ever do drugs. They're really bad for you, and I really want to go to Japan. So, now that we saw the tower, the garden, and the sunset, we're going to move into colors. So as I mentioned on the last broadcast about Marseille, because I'd been to Lisbon before, I wanted to do something that was a bit more unique, a little more artistic. It sounds weird even coming out of my mouth. Art's for yourself, not for others. So I guess I did it for myself. Talking to Kai, he came up with an idea. What if we captured some of the colors of the buildings here? And so that's what we did. And as I was shooting this footage, I just had She's a Rainbow in my head by the Rolling Stones. It was made before I was born, but somehow that song was just resonating. And I'm like, well, how can I get that harpsichord sound? How can I get those keys to accompany this video without sampling the song? Because as you know, this is all original audio. That way I don't get the copyright strike. Luckily for me, there's freemidi.org and I found a MIDI file for She's a Rainbow, brought it into GarageBand, trimmed it up, switched some instruments, cut it down, tweaked it out, as you do. And this is colors. This is sort of new territory for me, but we were really struck by the idea and really struck by the vibrant colors that the buildings uh, were here in Lisbon. So I present for you, love you hun, colors. So that was colors. Just trying to capture something besides landmarks here really felt the vibrant 
sort of personalization of all of people's house and, and buildings was such an overwhelming trait. Uh, that's how I decided to capture it. So that was the five videos. Yo, 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 yo. Thank you, Blair. Straight up Kai, we beastie for checking this out. This is the travel vlog update. Looks like December 8th, I might be in San Francisco. Do need to go back to get my visa in my passport? Optimistic thinking. Could be, could be, could be. If you're an SF, might hook up. Also gotta get that booster, yo. Shit's crazy out there. So, till next time in Dubai, probably about a week, week or two. Good looking out, Nick. Uh, I'll hit you back up. Hopefully we've got some gold jet skis, diamond Lamborghinis, things like that to cover. Because, you know, the world's a big place and if you don't get out there, who's going to do it for you? All right, y'all. This is uh, Triple Trouble Troy, thanking you all for spending some time checking out my travels. Wishing you great weekend, great travels in your own. It's not that hard, just takes a passport, yo. All right, peace. <laughs>